So I've just recovered from dengue fever and I've had that for almost a week. So I wanted to share with you my experience with dengue fever because some people really get it so bad and some people even die from it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tony. Thank you for coming to my channel. And for those that come back as well, my subscribers, thank you so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So I want to share with you my experience this week of dengue fever. I literally was just totally out of it for the past week. On and off, I was fighting it at a lot of resistance. But first, what is dengue fever? Dengue fever is a virus that's contracted from a mosquito. And it's usually, I've heard it's the female and it's the certain type. Now there is different types of this, this viral infection. Um, I am a little like, if your body is strong, then you generally don't get these things. But you know what, I'm not perfect in the way I live my life. I get stressed. There's a lot of stress at times in my life, I'll be honest. And I share a lot of tools on my channel to help others with their stress because of how I struggle with stress. And also, I'm not always perfect with my eating. My eating could always be better. And I've had years of abuse. So for those that know me, know that I put my body through so much crap so much junk food so much alcohol you know i was never a massive drinker but i would drink every single weekend so cleansing the body takes years my body is not in its optimal state as i'd like it to be it's in a great condition but it's not in the most optimal as i would like it so i know that through certain things that happen to me and just the way i handle things and the way my body reacts you just know, you know, and I, and I know this is not just a quick fix. I've only been raw vegan for three years, so it's going to take some time. And even so, I'm detoxing. A friend of mine said, you're just detoxing, Tony. So that, you know, could be. I did go and get my bloods done because I was curious. I was curious to see what this is. And I did just specifically test for dengue fever and it did come out as positive. And he did say that there's been a lot of people coming in the clinic it's an individual clinic with a foreign guy that just shares uh, that you can go get bloods done. And it's, it's, it's not like a proper doctor's, which I don't like that sort of environment. So it's, an, it's a nice quick in and out clinic. I literally went in, got my bloods done and I was out in five minutes. And the results came within a few hours and came up as positive as dengue fever. So I'm going with that. I trust it. And knowing how it makes sense because I did actually have a, probably a different type type back about seven or eight years ago and that just wiped me out for full 10 days. Now most people get so dehydrated, they lose so much of the fluids that they, get, they need to be hospitalized and some do, do die from this. So it's quite a serious viral infection. However, I know if your body is a good it's got a good state which mine is like top end there so i'm very aware that my immune system is so strong i knew i would fight whatever is going on so although i had resistance i just trusted i did fast i didn't eat for like i think it was almost five days i didn't eat listen to my body i couldn't eat anyways i wasn't in the mood for eating but i also listened to my body i see those in nature i look I always look in nature what other animals do when they are sick they fast and anytime i get a few little like sore ad adrenals and things like that so sore, uh, sore glands then i immediately go on a fast i do like a 24 hours of no eating just water fast and that tends to clear it up this time this didn't, I knew it was a little bit more serious and I was still pushing through, still fighting it and I'm thinking I've got lots to do, I don't want to take time out. By the third, fourth day I was like, I have to rest, I really, my body was just really struggling and I wasn't even listening to myself, like this is the problem we have, we don't listen our bodies are telling us something. Instead of going to the drugstore and trying to get these quick fixes, just rest and let your body, your digestive system 
just totally rest. So I honoured that and I rested for a few days and I seemed to have was picking up and then got back to a little bit of doing work and then hit me again. So I had to be like, okay, let's just let go here. And I completely surrendered. And overall, just of, uh, just under a week that I experienced some uh, really strong fever, um, headaches, really strong around here, very, very heavy. Uh, but that was all that I really experienced. Uh, quite a lot of irritability, hot sweats, really like similar to similar to the flu or you know is is a form of flu so um but i i pushed through and um yeah feel so much better now i wouldn't say i'm out of it a hundred percent but i'm definitely like getting up with vigor i feel good um but i can sense there's still something ning lingering so i'm just focusing on watermelon right now because it's so hydrating really cleansing it's really good for the body so I'm focused on that and watermelon yeah although I've lost a ton of weight I am not although I was a little disappointed in my gym uh, progression I was really getting some gains at the gym so frustrated because I had such a solid month of consistency and upping my weight that I've just now been knocked back and that's life isn't it that does it to us sometimes, does it to the best of us with anything, you know, you think, oh, you're on track and you're doing lots of great things. And I was back in momentum with a lot of my work projects and just feeling really on top of it. And then just, got, ooh, just got swept off. And I had a lot of resistance against that because I was so upset. And then the more you resist is persist. So I need to practice what I preach sometimes. And then I just hold my whole hands up. I was just like, okay, I'm done, okay. I surrender, I surrender, and just listen. So honor your body, honor whatever you're feeling right now. If you're going through some tough times, if you're going through some health challenges, really take some time for you, take a step back, let your body do the work. And it, it could mean fasting. Fasting's not a negative thing to do to the body. Anything, it's gonna allow that body to heal. We're gonna get out of the way any times of stress, fast or eat. I was the opposite. I would eat. I would eat my emotions, but I don't so much anymore. And your body will turn over much quicker. And it's not just about that, but you'll just feel much more in tune and balanced. So anything you're going through, any difficulties, you want some mental clarity, you want something to just give you a download, get some downloads, get some inspiration, fast, dopamine fast, are fantastic. So I would really look into fasting. I mean, I intermittent fast regularly, every day pretty much on the shorter, like 18, six and 16, eight fasting. That's what I do. That's my protocols that I've been doing for many, many, many years. I absolutely love when I'm, I'm doing this lifestyle and when I get a little sick 24 hours if not longer like this full week I've been fasting and now just getting back into it went to the gym today so I'm feeling good and not at my level but it's all good it's part of the journey isn't it I always share it's not a sprint it's a marathon we're here for the long haul you and I we're here for the long haul we're not here for these quick fixes, this all or nothing thinking. No more. No more. We are here for the bigger picture. We are here to learn and grow and develop, express, explore this incredible life. So don't forget, if you do like this video, put a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed. And also turn on the bell notification to be notified of when the next videos are got some great videos coming up for you i'm really excited and also if you want to check all of my offerings out my one-on-one -on -one coaching my free retreats free ebook my challenges and all that is at rawliciousyou.com be feel and stay rawlicious <laughs>